Uh, good morning. Um, I'm not sure it's going to be this quick, Dante, to start with here. So, um, nine years uh, seems less than that. Uh, this is my longest stop in continuous place here, and a lot has happened here uh, personally and job wise. Uh, with, I believe, many more highs than uh, lows uh, overall. And just to sort of touch on a couple of them that some may not even necessarily seem high, but uh, you know, it's with the coaches uh, it's so forth. Uh, there was a Kobe Williams highlight for us. First year we were in uh, playoffs and Brandon in the last game in overtime, he missed about two shifts all game. And uh, just something you just always remember. And the second year being number one seed Lethbridge hockey team, uh, all our owners coming down uh, after the game to uh, join in the players and they're singing the song that they always did that ended up with something you left bridge. Um, year three regular season high that uh, we think would have been a lot more if we hadn't had to play so much without uh, Adam Brooks. And the fourth year hosting, losing in the final game was a great experience, but paid a price for that. that uh, could only have been overcome if we actually won that game, the ultimate. Um, and the epic battles in our division, especially with Al's teams down the road here. And you know, the tougher times were the repercussions of the Memorial Cup and uh, some personal health issues that I had later. Um, to see the rink full again this past season, the excitement the team brought, and of course what 98 did uh, for the city, the team, and the entire league was a high that uh, you know was pretty hard to describe this year. Uh, there won't be another one like him. Um, I don't think so. I think we all had a great enjoyment from that. As you can see, there's far more highs than there was lows uh, during this time. So some thank yous here. Uh, I was really fortunate coming here. Not necessarily out of the blue, I knew Todd Lumbar before, but that ownership group that first year of Anthony and Todd and Sean and Jason Drummond uh, were awesome. They were awesome as a group, awesome individually. Uh, they allowed me to do with complete autonomy what I wanted to do with the hockey team, and that's, that's somewhat rare. Our hockey staff, um, we had very little change over the time. Uh, the odd addition, but from Greg and Gord to Brad and Ken and Landon, uh, Robbie Montaigne, Kex, and uh, this year added Wops and, and Keith. Um, it was just great. And to not miss him, uh, Strucher's uh, initial time here was, or the, the first year was so beneficial to me because, you know, despite whatever experience you have, um, Come into junior hockey like two days before training camp started. We wouldn't have been, it would have been about three months for me to catch up to speed without him. And on the hockey side as well, as sort of the business pritch, uh, we had some great personal moments and working moments uh, on my side. Stacy Cattell, so enthusiastic and supportive throughout the years. Um, sports staff, we had a group of, uh, most of them moved on here, uh, but that initial group and they carried on until they've gone on to bigger and better things from Phil and Kellen, Joel, Sean, Jan, Sherry, Kendra, Crystal. They're always there when uh, I needed something in a pinch or in a hurry or needed something done. And the players, um, it's easy to name all the top players, players that we all, you always, people all remember, uh, Brooks's and the Steels, Lecisions, Henry's, um, her as Hobbs as um, coaching Max was certainly a highlight for me. And then there's the other guys that are just, it's been a long time, or they've been known, Sergey Zabrowski, Chase Harrison, Dawson Liedall, and guys like Hunts and Burroughs and Klimchuk uh, were all, you know, big parts of, of my start here. 
and they've gone on to things. We're actually still here about them in the NHL. Uh, Dryden's getting married next uh, week or something. I heard about that last week. And the guys we finished with here, Connor and Suzdalev and Svozel, um, Whitehead, Howie, they're just a, a good group of players that meant a lot to what, has hap what happened here. And the scouting staff headed by Dale, who spends endless hours in the road as do all the scouts. I think his total was 499 games this year that he wrote reports on. A lot of grunt behind the scene by these people that a team can't do without. And you as media, you've always been good and fair, supportive to me. I'd like to acknowledge two guys a little bit more, Rob Vanstone, who I see is here today, and Greg Harder. Uh, they were, uh, you just get to spend more time with them when we used to have a daily newspaper. And that's not knocking it. I know it's just changed, but uh, they're always ex excellent top shelf. And she's here. <sighs> to my lovely wife, Lori. Uh, through all the times, has been there for me. And uh, those hockey times were always good. She probably has some advice sometimes for hockey, I think. Off, she tells us some things, but uh, you know, through the rougher off ice times last year and a half, a year and a half ago, um, she's always been right there. So I thank you for her. Um, summing up, it's been a great, great nine years. It's been a great time. Um, it's a wonderful place. I had wonderful people with and supporting me and uh, enjoying time with here. So thank you.